Mahjan. Obokoro and Ibadara are the most acclaimed actors in the history of the origin of Obodoku town. The couple left their ancestral home in the present-day Unubi town in Newi South Local Government area of Anambra State. Obokoro's famine prowess instigated his migration, his destination as he traveled from Unubi in search of fertile land and territory was known to him a sojourner, overcoming everybody with whom he came into contact. He chose to settle in Nato territory about 82 kilometers on the west, built himself a house in the year 1500 AD. Opokoro was accompanied by his wife Ibadara and his two sons Anyogu and Anyagu, pages, spiritualist, and his well-wishers. There was no doubt that the journey must have been arduous and tedious as there were no roads as pointed out by Epoch Search TV's project manager, Mr. Abba Chukudiebere Greg. Certainly, the journey was arduous and long in transit. He couldn't have conquered his enemy physically and spiritually all alone. Obokoro, knowing the danger ahead, in order to secure his territory, he solicited for available spiritual powers. The couple worshipped at Agwazi, Inei, Obubi, Oka, Ioma, and Urashi rivers. As the settlement grew in size and population, it became necessary to have the following groups for the purpose of defense against external invasion. Anyogu, who is the first son, oversees Inei, Agwazi, Ogugurudialai territory, which are in the present Apolu community. Anyagu lorded over Urashi, Ioma, Obubi, Oka, and Ejiha territory, which today is situated at Obudoku town. After that glamorous day, Anyogu and his brother Anyagu took the Idimili title, which made them lords over their territories. This marked a new dawn of autonomous communities. Thereafter, they jealously guarded their respective terrain by resisting every external influence. They embraced cultural diversity by introducing foreign and undiluted accents to their language for security reasons. This resulted in the difference of Apollo and the Buduku accents. Anyagu was a polygamist. His first wife bore him four sons, namely Nwaraho, Ume, Umejiako, Abadago. His other wives had five children, namely Ezeago, the present Umeze Sheta, Umezugo village, Uzubi, Oka, Nkokwa, and Ubele. There are other stories that some of these villages came from other areas. These nine children from the nine traditional pioneer villages in Obodoku town with Umunwarahu, the first son as the head of Obodoku town, 